Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Can we have RX loss over the drink? <laughs> that would be a bloop. <laughs> like a turd dropping in the WC. <laughs> Eric's Ness. Eric's Ness. So, I found the quad. Assalamualaikum and greetings, Ali Shama here and welcome to more RC video reviews. In this video, I have got here the new Ishin Tyro 79S, which is kind of, not, you know, the whole beginners fpv bundle kind of beginners fpv bundle because it comes with the fpv racing quadcopter and the light 2 the better fpv light 2 2.4 gsz radio which is rebranded by ishin here of course let's take it outside the box quickly so you can see what comes inside the box check this out this is how it's packed i like the orange color i mean orange is one of my favorite i have many favorite co colors the top of the list is the red and of course orange you can see my suv is orange as well and here is the ishin tyro 79 the fpv racing quadcopter it's 140 millimeter i believe and then you have a velcro strip and some zip ties that's not it inside there are more you have propellers of course including the spare and then we have more accessories the nuts for the motor extra screws extra caps for the antenna tubes the all new the ishin uh, wrenches carbon fiber wrenches and a battery tray with double-sided foam uh, sticky foam and yes what's missing the legendary Ishin AK47 uh, bottle opener man that is missing today in this box I love that one actually the carbon fiber AK47 bottle opener anyway I've got here the two battery version uh, you also have I believe three or four battery version on Banggood these are three as 650 million batteries and a charger which actually does a very good charge charging 2S or 3S batteries. This is the IMAX B3 Pro compact charger. I feel that if Ishin included a budget goggles with this combo, this could have been a really much more valuable combo uh, for beginners to actually look at because they would have everything included in one box to fly FPV right outside the box. Now we don't have the FPV video goggles which will leave uh, which will leave the uh, beginners wondering which goggle to buy and we'll be looking for recommendations. All right now let's take a look at the specs of Ishin Tyro 79S. Right, welcome outdoors for the exciting part of this video that is we are going to fly the Ishin Tyro 79S everything is set uh, batteries are fully charged this is the arm and this arm switch so let's fly it and s give it a line of sight flight and see how it goes Ooh, nice and smooth man look at that look at that Sweet. And that is just 3S. Superb man. Now, talking about the radio control, I'm feeling pretty comfortable flying. Just feels like I'm using a you know PS4 or game console controller. But responses and controls translated very very quickly to the quadcopter and I'm having no issue with the controls unless that I make a mistake damn this thing is fast man so far no range issue some people said that they had the troubles with better FPV light 2 radio where it had very little range like 10 meters or so and quadcopters were falling I'm not having that issue for now I mean line of sight I'm not going farther than 10 20 meters 
superb quad, man. We'll see if the if we have range issue when we are flying it. And by the way, this is complete stock tune. I haven't tuned the quadcopter at all. I haven't even touched the beta flight. I mean, didn't even you know connect it to computer for beta flight. So this is complete. Now I'm in air mode. This is complete uh, stock tune that came from Ishin. Yeah, flip rate is flip rate is really nice. I I was inverted <laughs> for a moment there. So yes, flip rate is really nice with the stock tune. Nice, nice to do aerobatics. And really, so far I'm feeling the tune is really nice. Oh, that could have been bad. Balance the prop a little bit, not an issue. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the line of sight aerobatics today. So, yes, no issues, flying line of sight, everything is good, punch is nice, this is 3S, so I'm just gonna put it here and go full throttle, yeah, nice, not bad, man, and that is given that I am draining the battery already, I've drained it a lot, and this is not a good quality battery, this is one of the E-top crappy batteries. I'm actually surprised it lasted this long without bursting into flames. Sweet. Throttle response is really nice. Okay, before the battery explodes, the E-top crappy battery, let's land it. And let's fly FPV now. All right. FPV time and you can hear my commentary as well and air mode arm okay I saw a strange lines appearing on on the OSD hey whoa nice man the control this um, once again, this is a uh, pure stock tune from the factory, from Ishin. I have not touched anything. I didn't even connect the beta flight. I mean, connect the quadcopter to beta flight or to computer and ran beta flight. And I mean, I don't know how many times I have to say I didn't connect to beta flight. <laughs> but this is complete stock tune from the e -Shin. and look at that how nice it's flying actually controls are superb losing the video there by the way I have just set the video transmitter to uh, 600 milliwatt I believe that was the highest power I could see in the smart audio almost hit the wall at high speed Nice man, really nice. Look at that. I mean, I can pull aerobatics. Okay, very quick. I saw the battery low warning, which is strange, man. I mean, and it's also very disappointing to have the battery going away that quick. So now doing a simple circle around me. Ending up in the roll. Again, the strange lines coming. So far, no issues with the control. Oh, oh, there, there. RX loss. I had the RX loss. That was horrible, man. <laughs> Speed is nice. Let's see if we have RX loss. Oh, oh, almost hit the pole. Let's see if we have RX loss here. No, no RX loss. 
Can we have RX loss over the drink? <laughs> that would be a bloop. <laughs> like a turd dropping in the WC. <laughs> okay, let's see. RX loss right there. One moment. I'll try one more time here. One more time. One moment. This is the area we are having. RX loss. RX loss. RX loss. Okay. So, RX loss over there. Let me go pick it up. Now, obviously, that is not good because this is the better FP light to radio. And I've been flying with uh, Radio Master TX16S. I've been flying with X9D. Never dropped a quad this close. So I hope it's still there. So I found the quad and battery is out. This good guy right here saw it and kept an eye on it, otherwise I wouldn't wouldn't be able to find it that easily because I didn't bring my video goggles. So let's go back and see if there's any damage. Damage report. Well, there's nothing to report damage. Commander, uh, this prop is okay. This prop is fine. This prop is fine. This prop is fine. So basically, a little bit of scratches on the prop. Rest is fine. Battery was protected by this nice battery tray here. Otherwise, I have seen where batteries actually get damaged upon such kind of crashes. So no damage on the quad because anyway it wasn't a kind of really hard crash now if you look at there that is not even 50 meters I would say maybe because I'm sitting on, uh, on a very low chair and having to have radio very close to the ground maybe it is affecting the signals well I still have enough battery to give it one more try and this time I'll fly standing Obviously, there is no problem with, no problem at all with the quadcopter itself. This is absolutely amazing. It's flying absolutely beautiful. Its performance is really nice. I really like the way it performs on 3S. And given that it's complete stock tune from the factory, I didn't even tune it according to my own style. It's the radio that previously people have complained that it had a range issue and the very first one that I received from Beta FPV Light 2 Radio for review did not have such a range issue but then but then that could be a special prototype for reviewers only this right there is the production model which is coming out of those production belts you know or assembly lines so I'm gonna put the camera here and I'm just gonna stand here and attempt to go that way once again and this time standing focus I mean pointing towards the quad pointing the radio towards the quad could be the antenna here I will see if I will drop the quad again or not and I'll also try it behind me this time okay so you can see my OSD has strange lines, but anyway, here we go. So going to the area where we dropped the quad like a turd, I'm glad it wasn't the <coughs> low battery. Okay, see? No problems. No problems at all with the radio control signals now because I'm pointing my radio towards the quadcopter. Battery is dying. I hope it will give me enough time to test it behind me. 10.4. I can still push it. Behind me, the video is going. No, oh, Onyx loss, Onyx loss. Oh, yeah. It was dropping like a turd again, man. So, coming back. Now we know what is happening. Coming back for landing. Okay, stop recording.
All right, so it's time for conclusion. I thought, I thought Better FPV Light 2 radio was a good radio. And um, when I reviewed, once again, the Light 2 radio, I did not actually encounter any such issues. I even used the radio at an area which is filled with frequencies. And I have experienced a lot of, lot of uh, signal drop signal loss crashes even with free sky x9 d radio free sky using certain receivers i did have crashes so that area is really filled with interference and when i tested this better fe light to radio there when i was making a review of that i never had such issue i mean really it makes me think that if companies really focus on preparing a model uh, a product especially really with great focus on everything to send to reviewers so reviewers will not have any issue and they can post a good review but when the product goes to the production on assembly lines and comes out of the assembly lines then people actually talk about you know issues so when people told me they were having issues with better FPV light to radios and they contacted the beta FPV they didn't get any positive response some people didn't even get the response at all until I have to until I had to mention on my video that I do not want to support beta FPV anymore because they're not replying to customer support requests and then came the beta FPV representatives and they said we are very sorry we have been very very busy and we will check on all the comments and reply to those people and obviously I hope they did reply to those people and resolve the issues. So, the complaint about range issues on this, well, people, unfortunately, it is still true. So, better FPV, please focus on this. This radio, Light 2 radio, is a very nice radio. I really like it. It has good features and it's very, very comfortable. And it is a very, very nice budget radio. And that you can also use it as a joystick to play flight simulators and practice flying. So please focus on range issues on this radio control and fix them so people will not have those issues. Now coming to Tyro 79S. Yes, for this one, I can say two thumbs up. Yes, this is really nicely built very strong very durable and a really nice performing fpv quadcopter right here it has enough power it has enough punch on 3s battery not enough flight time yes i'm running out of 650 milliamp batteries pretty soon i wish i brought 850 milliamp phase battery because i'm sure it will fly with those so to say quadcopter ishin taro 79s as i wanted to say that Ishin Tyro series has been a very successful very high demand series of FPV racing quadcopters from Ishin people love them because of the budget they are budget friendly they are budget FPV racing quadcopters in Ishin Tyro series no matter 79 129 69 those were very very nice quadcopters very, even the kits were very easy to build and fly and components that they come with are a balance of budget and quality and these quadcopters definitely are in high demand and these Tyro series quadcopters have received very much praise from the users so yes Ishin Tyro is a very very good series and I love it uh, basically all the Ishin Tyro quadcopters I absolutely love them for their budget friendly uh, good quality and performance balance including the budget balance so once again wrap it up very very good need attention Ishin it was okay to have this radio because it is a budget radio but we gotta talk to better FPV to resolving the range issues I mean not even 50 meters if you're dropping your quad and crashing imagine if there were people there mm -mm, not safe people thank you very much for watching this detailed conclusion I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it answers all your questions if you have any more questions please feel free to put them down in the video in the comments and I'll be able and I'll reply those in time all right let's move on to something even more fun to fly come on you know what to do hit that like button it's right there I know you can do it oh while you're at it also hit the subscribe button right there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel 
just for you. Hit that like button.